Well, here's a little test to compare the internal mic of the Git 2 with the external mic. This is being recorded at the moment with the internal mic. Um, and give me 10 seconds and I'll plug in the external one and fire it up again with this clipped on here. Let's say, let's say if you wanted to do some interviewing or something and use it for broadcast or something. Let's see how it works that way. Right, well, this is with the external microphone plugged in. So I wonder how that sounds. You've got a good two metres of cable here if you want to sit and away from it and use it for broadcast or something. I don't know what the difference is going to be, but let's try it. A lot of people like to use an external mic if they are doing motorcycle vlogging, which is kind of a voice log of a motorcycle ride. So the next thing I'm going to do is put this inside my full face helmet and give it a test on the road. So let's see how that goes. Well, hello. Right, here we are testing the external mic on the GitHub Git 2. As you can see, I've got the camera mounted in a skeleton case on the tripod bracket. And long mic lead is tucked down here and the mic is just clipped on here. So let's go and see what it sounds like if I do a bit of a tour of Brixham on the bike. See you later. And the first problem I've got. First problem I've got is I can't actually close the visor with that, so I'm gonna clip it on. I'm gonna clip it on here like so. are open. I imagine it's a bit noisy. And this is with the visor closed. Well, I wonder what this is sounding like. Like I say, I'd imagine if it's inside a visor, it must sound like talking inside a cupboard. As you saw, I've got the camera mounted in a skeleton frame on the tripod mount. But one issue I feel there is with external mics, if you want to do motorcycle vlogging, is Unless you make a hole in the waterproof camera case, you've got to use the mic because of the USB plug. You've got to use the mic with the camera in an open frame, which isn't a lot of good if it's raining. And it also means the camera gets dirt and dust on the lens. So presumably the best thing to do would be if you're going to do a lot of motorcycle vlogging, presumably the best thing to do would be make a small hole in the side of the case. The other issue I've got, it's a cold day, is, and I've got the visor down, and my visor's steaming up. So I'm going to open it now because I can't see. I'm going to open it now because I can't see where I'm going. Let's see what it's like with it open anyway. Probably less. Probably less boomy, even if it has got some wind noise. And I hate these tracks because I don't go on the right hand side to see around the bend because there's gravel in the middle of the track. And if I have to brake, chances are I'm going to slide. So basically, you've got to stay either on the left or the right of this gravel line. Right, we're now at Berryhead. Berryhead Fort is 
just down there. So let's go down through the woods. Yeah, I wonder how much of my voice this is picking up and how much of the motorcycle noise. Well, this is the Head Hotel where, for a while, Francis Henry Light lived and he wrote the song He wrote the song, Abide With Me. And look at that, not a breath of wind in the bay. That's Tor Bay, not a breath of wind. Which is a bit of a drag, because I was hoping to go paragliding sometime today. And that's a rather sexy looking convertible smart car. I feel like a coach driver giving a tour on a on a coach holiday. And now we're coming down to Brixham Marina and Brixham Harbour. I'll give you a quick look over the wall in a minute. In fact, even better, I'm going to drive down to the car park. And this just here is Breakwater Beach. Very popular with divers and student divers, as you can see today, because it's flat, particularly today, because it's very calm. And it's a nice beach that shelves out very, very gently. In fact, probably a perfect day for a bit of diving practice. My mark and my visor is my visor is so steamed up. Lines of con lines of condensation are um, running down it. But this is Breakwater Beach and Bricks and Breakwater, and the Breakwater Bistro, and a lot of divers. Right, well this is Brixham Harbour, Brixham Inner Harbour to be more precise. Tide's out at the moment, as you can see there's a fair bit of mud showing. Um, and down there is where the roads close, so I'm not sure if I can go any further, but I think I can actually. I think they were just trying to put people off, so let's have a go. Street Brixham and me on my bike. Lots of lime green so people can see me coming.